So back in middle school, I used to make my own mixtures of different lotions and perfumes and make my own scents. And um, my mom eventually showed me how to make bath salts. And me and her together would ship them in little mason jars and we would give them to our family and friends as gifts. Um, have you guys ever made bath salts or anything like that? And if you have, how did you like it? And uh, today we're gonna make lavender bath salts. That's my favorite scent, so it's what I have here. Um, so we're gonna start with gathering our materials like any project. You're gonna just have this Epsom salt. I got lavender scented just because that's the type of uh, bath salt we're gonna be making today. And then you need baking soda and you need lavender essential oil and peppermint essential oil and then this step is totally optional but you add some soap so now that we have all our materials down let's start by making it uh you're gonna start first start by putting a half a cup of baking soda and i don't have a half a cup measuring cup so i'll just use a one cup and fill it halfway up i'm gonna start by that in there and then we need one and a half cups of epsom salt so here's one and then the second one Two one in and then you add you mix it first so mix those two together until it's all mixed and now that we're halfway done with our bath salts, let's go to the other half. You need your essential oil lavender scented, and you put four to five drops of that into your mixture. One, two, three, four, five. And then two to three drops of the peppermint. One, two, three, okay. And then you start by mixing that once again until it's all mixed up. And then this last step is completely 100% optional. You don't have to do it, but you're supposed to add 15 to 20 drops of soap. So we're gonna start by doing that. I'm gonna add 17, so it's in between 15 and 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then you mix it all up. And my soap is the light purple kind, so my bath salt is gonna come out to be a light purple-ish color. You just mix it until it all looks damp. And then now you are ready to package it up and give it to someone special. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put my bath salt in. Um, I usually put it in a mason jar, but you don't have to. So I got this dish and it comes with the top on it. And we're gonna transfer the mixture from our mixing bowl into our glass bowl. So once all that is in there, you are ready to give it to somebody or keep it for yourself and use it. There's many um, different uses for bath salts. Some people use it to relieve stress. Some people just use it to moisturize their skin and you just use it in the bath and just relax. Um, but now that we're done making our bath salts, I'm gonna go through the ingredients and materials one more time just so you guys have it down. Um, we have Epsom salt, mine is lavender scented. We have some baking soda, just plain old baking soda. And you need some lavender essential oil and peppermint. And then the last step is optional, use your soap. And now that you guys have learned to make bath salts, I hope you guys make it in real life. And I encourage you to make it 